right, guys, let's go ahead and check out this compilation video. Here we go. So I was thinking about this today. Maybe I am the problem, okay? My first ex does not talk to me. Haven't heard from him in years. I'm pretty sure will not even acknowledge him. Second one, moved to a whole other state, okay? We were together for like almost eight years. No ring, no nothing, and I moved to another state. My third one, got married, and I have kids. At least she was honest about it and she had some accountability here. But I mean, let's keep it real, right? Normally when women try to circle the block or they keep tabs on their exes, normally things ain't going so well for them, okay? They're usually single. You know, they've had some sort of awakening to the point where they realize that they had a good thing. Now that good thing is passed and they're single AF, okay? That usually is the case when it comes to these kind of situations please believe if she was dating a guy you know she's living her best life having kids a fruitful life so on and so forth she probably would not be thinking about you whatsoever okay let's keep it real when was the last time you met a woman for the first time and he said hey what happened with your last relationship or with your ex okay it's very rare a woman will have some sort of accountability and say i was the issue I'm the one that messed up, okay? It is extremely rare for a woman to do that. We're not gonna choose a woman that we feel is <laughs> promiscuous or got a bad reputation because it's gonna reflect bad yeah. on us. And we don't wanna look like a fool. Yeah, I mean, I get that. And I'm not defending one way or the other. I also think though that there's some, like what is the worst that can happen? Like what are what is the ultimate like uh, I a man get, loses a business deal because they don't respect. Well, not how. even a business deal. A man ain't nothing without respect. Yeah. That's if you don't saying. have respect among exactly. your peers, what difference do it make how much money you yeah. have and but how many cars you got if you don't got you respect start around to, your peers? You, they look to what end? You can really tell a lot by a man who chooses a certain type of woman. Okay, you really can. If you're choosing a quarrelsome woman that she's out of control, that kind of says a lot about you as a man and what you will put up with. It really does, okay? So dealing with a certain woman is a direct representation as you as a man. When y'all be sitting up saying, oh, well, even if you get married, you could still end up a single mother. Ho, are you slow? Is, is something wrong with you? The whole point is wanting to be married first. Y'all be acting like people get married and the divorce be two months later. It, it, it don't be. I don't care what y'all try to normalize. I want a ring before I lay down on a table and have a baby for a man. And all the, oh, well, marriage is too big of a commitment. But you'd rather lay down on a table and push out a whole human being that you could possibly die doing. And that, that's not too much. I just, I, I want to know if y'all hear y'all self. At, at this point, I'm really convinced y'all aren't. Like, y'all are saying anything. Literally. Before you tell me that I'm everything that is wrong with women these days, listen to what, I, what, what I'm really saying. Listen all the way through. So I, a couple um, months ago, like, had lost my job, <clears throat> and I needed to borrow money from someone until I was able to pay them back. So I borrowed money from my man, right, um, at the time, my man at the time. And um, I kind of felt weird about that because he knew I really needed it, and he never offered to give it to me. He waited until I asked, and then I basically had to beg because he was, you know. Yeah, but I mean, he's your man, okay? I'm assuming he's your boyfriend. He's not really obligated to give you money you know what i mean so but let's keep going these questions i don't usually give money out this whole thing and it already gave me the ache. like literally when he said like i don't usually give money out i was just like okay and i was just not fit to talk to him like i was obviously i was gonna stop talking to him because after that it's like if you know i know you can help me and if you don't want to then we're having a little bit of a disconnect and I'm gonna find a man who will. Like, it's not, it's not that deep. You know what's so crazy about these modern women? If you give them money, you can kiss that money goodbye. You're not getting that money back, okay? You're broke, you lost your job, sounds like you don't have any savings, okay? You might be irresponsible with money. He probably said to himself, I'm not getting his money back. I was gonna get mad, I was just gonna, you know, stop talking to him, but then he decided he was gonna give me the money, right? No, he wasn't gonna give it to me, he was gonna loan it to me. Whatever, cool. I said I would pay him back at the end of the month. The end of the month has come, 
Um, I kind of, I haven't I've been thinking about it. I have a lot of things I need to get done, and I'm still, like, really behind in bills because of the fact that I lost my job, so I'm trying to play catch-up, and I finally got a little bit of money, right? Um, so he texts me this morning, and he's like, oh, has your check still not cleared yet? I haven't received the money, which already is a sassy, like, way of asking for the money back. But granted, <laughs> he shouldn't have had to ask. I should have, had, I should have just sent it to him. <laughs> Let me look something up. Hold on. Hold on. I simply typed in what percent of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Um, a survey. <clears throat> 20 Yo, you know what's so funny about this? She's complaining that he's asking for his money back. Okay, she's literally saying that he should have asked for the money in the way that she felt fit <laughs> in order to give the money back. Conducted by payroll.com highlighted that 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, a 6% increase from the previous year. Typically uh -huh. speaking, he probably didn't really have it to give to you. And even if he did, right, that was probably his savings. Notice how you didn't say a specific number because I'm sure it was high. Thousands of dollars expecting someone to just give that to you because you're on hard times i don't i don't get it we're living together and doing a life together you wouldn't even have had to ask i understand it sounds like y'all was living in two different places though bro got a text to you guys just boyfriend and girlfriend two separate apartments two separate car payments two separate insurances all that like y'all be mad that these dudes don't want to give you their last just imagine if it was flipped and a man was talking like this about a woman. <laughs> the fact that she made a TikTok video about her being broke without a job, calling a man sassy for getting his money back is crazy. So regardless of how you flipped it, <laughs> um, she would have made a TikTok video embarrassing herself. Yo, when you become single, life really get different. You don't even realize the strength you have being single. Single me be painting, installing cabinets, putting license plates on the back of cars. Single me be getting it, y'all. Whatever I want done, I get done. Who needs a man? Who needs a man when you can just do it yourself? I need a man, y'all. I don't like it. <laughs> I want to call daddy. Can you, babe? Can you, honey, please go? Baby, this not done. I just want to assist you at this point. I don't want to do all this. I Look, I just want a good man that's going to just answer everything that I see. Because I'm tired of putting it together. I didn't install computer desks, mounted TVs. I ain't supposed to be doing all this. But yeah, daddy, because <laughs> this ain't going to cut it. All right, guys, so the next clip is going to be a woman trying to surprise her man by lighting candles. Um, they rented out a hotel room, and she had put the candles on the bed. I guess she was trying to be romantic. Um, the only problem is the candles were real, plus they left the room, <laughs> and then they came back, and the hotel bed lit on fire. Take a look. Baby girl decorated the room with real candles and this happened. Nah, I ain't got no food. you have? I just want the food and the liquor and shit. All right, it's all right. We removed alcohol and we removed just about everything out. Oh, you guys got this movie. Oh, I don't shit. know if that's your stuff, but there's a pair of paint or a pair of fucking pants. So, so that was the initial reason why she was doing something for me. That's what I did for her for her 21st birthday. So this wasn't even my birthday. This was, uh, this was for Father's Day. So let me break this down. So basically she decorated the room nice. Like she ain't, she ain't never did that type of before. So I was the first person she did that. Shit. So she tried to redo what I did. The idea, hell yeah, that shit was fire. I ain't even never get to see it. Let me break this story on. So she had decorated the whole room. She decorated the whole room already, lit all the candles, everything. And it was supposed to be a surprise. So after she did that, she came and got me. So when she came and got me, 
we was driving back out there and we she lied to me like we was going somewhere but we ain't go there she took me to the hotel i'm like oh shit go to the hotel okay then baby let me see what you about to do we walking up the stairs like we we uh we checked in the side though we walking up the stairs everything was cool we on the fourth floor so when we get to the fourth floor this shit look it's smelling a little toasty up this bitch i'm like what's that smell so the further we get to the door then you hear them pop so them pops i'm knowing them the balloons balloons popping so when i open the door she she put the card in there i open the door i swear to god so much smoke was came off the room you couldn't even see in there and then we thought like hold on let's try to go blow I'm talking about when you get in, you couldn't breathe, you couldn't see, you couldn't do it, man. That was all, everything was on fire already. So I'm guessing the air conditioner blew one of the balloons and the balloons caught on the candle and the whole bed caught on fire. Everything on the bed caught on fire. That's why half the room, it looked up, but really only the bed caught fire. I ain't got no So that's it right there. That's, the, so that's why the bed is shit ain't even right there. See, so if you paid attention right there, nothing was missing out that room but the bed. But what it was was when that, um, when the, we was on the fourth floor. So the charge part, the $5,000 charge, they told us there it was only going to be $1,000. But when they charged my car, it was for 5500 and some change. So what it was was when the fire people came, and they shot all that water to the fourth floor. All that shit dropped all the way to the first floor. So they got charged for fourth floor all the way down to the first floor. <laughs> Everybody in the comments mad. I want my liquor and the food. This party ain't over. We just relocated. Party was not over. And and she still had another. Let me show y'all what she did for me that night. Since she since she burnt up the whole damn hotel. Let me show you what she did for me. <laughs> I was still scared of the ass. Still playing with that damn fire. No, I'm feel good. At least we was on the water. We threw that whole damn tin in the motherfucking water. All right, guys. So there you have it. Okay, you can't make this stuff up. Okay, she cost a dude fifty five hundred dollars all this property damage, and the same day she goes ahead and plays with fire <laughs> and tries to do it all over again. I don't get it. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. Um who knows but you know if you ask me she is a liability okay she really is but let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe for more content and until next time